money is very important, but it mustn't be your number one. Even Carmichael always say, it must be in your top five, but it mustn't be your number one. Your purpose must must be your, your, your force that drives you forward, your ET guy that I like to call it. Need to drive you forward and not money. as an entrepreneur yourself what would be your top three lessons of existing theory so I'm, i i saw the question and i thought i'm gonna actually dive real deep into it because i can give you like three just generic answers and i thought i'm gonna do it very practical and actually whatever is implied to me and my 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 past so my very first like i mentioned i was a accountant well i've been accountant for for 20 years my own practice for, for 14 Um, and during that time, I've also been an entrepreneur, whether it was part-time at some stage and now it's full-time, but always had an entrepreneurial side in me as well. So I was always involved in other businesses apart from my accounting practice. And one of them was, was a very big failure in 2010. A uh, very massive one, uh, really went to dark place, actually writing, busy writing my first book now and it's all going into be there and it's actually very deep and it helped me to also to, you know, the effort tool that kind of relieves the emotions. So that was a really good way for me also to release some, some emotions about whatever happened during that time. But that process learned me a lot about the fact that, you know, money is very important but it mustn't be your number one. Even Carmichael always say, it must be in your top five, but it mustn't be your number one. Hi, Jasper Sonia. I just wanted to remind you about the Daily Entrepreneur Tips series. It's a business growth series for entrepreneurs and contains financial information and also information to grow you as a person and your business because we will never grow our business any higher than we grow ourselves. So click on the link below and I will send you daily information to grow you as a person and your business. And it's for 365 days of the year. Your purpose must, must be your, your, your force that drives you forward, your ET guy that I like to call it need to drive you forward and not money. Um, if, whenever I see, I work a lot with entrepreneurs and when I see, whenever I see that they, the biggest motivator is money, they generally fail. Because I mean, you can only be so motivated with money for so long. Whenever it comes to like a roadblock in your, in your way, it becomes difficult because you're not motivated because you can't stand up for something bigger than yourself, um, like, like your ikigai, like your purpose which drives you to the point where you want to, to go to. And like you know, it's always, there was, no, there was never ending point. It's always a process. It's never, like, like Robin Sharma would say, it's not, never a process, always, it's never an event, it's always a process. So, yeah, so I think that opened up a lot of that for me. And it also assisted me going forward with a lot of, especially during this time, during last year with lockdown. I mean, I've seen a lot of these emotions and what's been happening to entrepreneurs here in Africa, well, all over the world, but especially in Africa. And I've seen myself in that picture 10 years ago. And it was great to, wonderful for me to actually help and inspire some of those entrepreneurs that also go through these dark times right now. Um, so that was pretty much my first lesson. And then I met my partner at Lead Optimizers um, and we started a new website and we're at up, up to like 45 websites right now of generating leads. But it got to a point where we tried to do everything ourselves. Every morning, four to six, I w woke up, write the websites and try to get get that going as well as a part time. And, and it just got to a point in 2017 where I actually burned out. Um, and that was my second big lesson. It was really the burnout of, I need to, clear up everything so I need to go to the 8020 20 principle one of my friends I like to go to the mountains and we had a nice walk there in the mountain a nice chat and he told me about his friend that like almost every six months every year do 8020 principle in his own life in his personal life and his business and I went back that day and I actually um, ev evaluated my whole life In my, in my personal capacity in my business and took away everything that then didn't matter and that I was involved in a lot of things that really just boost my ego but it wasn't really according to my purpose 
Um, so I stripped out all of those things from my personal life, from my business, and I really started focusing on that. And these days, even before I um, get involved in any business venture, before I take on any monthly accounting client, I would evaluate that client if that's part of my 80-20 principle. Um, if that will, and that's the second principle and that I learned from Robin Sharma is your joy as a GPS, which really serves me a lot. Um, and I need to decide if that person, I friend in my personal life, is that that business, new business associate, new client, really feels my joy, or will actually be a toxic and and pull pull me down as a negative force. Um, and for the listeners that don't know joy of gps is really involves three elements three p's people places and pursuits so i think that's a very good lesson and a very practical exercise to go through to, to go to make five positive items of each of those numbers and to the because i mean if you start writing it down it will really just you you will when the moment everything comes from go from here to your pen on the paper it becomes very, very clear to you. It's a, yeah. something magic happened from here to the pen. Um, all this scattered, scattered kind of thoughts um, just get like all, all in, um, yeah, in, in, in kind of in the right order when it's on paper. So write down those five pieces, um, five, five items on those, those five pieces, and and you will actually be clear on, on what really fuels your joy. But, but second to that, that is also write down five of all that's very negative and the toxic ones, because I think I believe those are actually more important th- than the positive ones, because mm-hmm. it's very, e- very easy to I mean, it's like a fraught apple or a um, rotten apple um, in, a, um, in a basket. I mean, it just gets rotten very quickly. Um, so get a toxic out of you. So joy of a GPS in very short, because I think that's something I still live my days by. Um, I think mm-hmm. that's very important. I'm sure you do as well, coming from from Titan Group. <laughs> um, so and then obviously I mentioned the Afro tool as well. There's something that also during that time I had to uh, I, I used a lot Afro uh, as being aware, um, uh, feel that, feel the pain, release the pain, and then ascend from the in very short. Um, just to just to, I mean that's one of the I mean the core ideas of the four interior empires and just not mindset. It's mindset, mind, body, heart, and soul. Um, and you need to work on all those kind of items. And and I I've, I know from from past experience that whenever there was emotional issues inside of me that we all go through yeah, every now and again, I couldn't be productive. I couldn't work. I couldn't be at my best at work and and deliver at the best for my clients, for my team, and for for anybody. Mm-hmm. So I think that's that's pretty much the the three habits taken from my. Um, Oh yeah, so, so, something else I actually want to show you. Very, to be very authentic. Yes. This is my business phone, and I gave mm-hmm. this to my PA. He's just off sick today, but he gave it to my PA every day. And this is my private phone. This, but really just five, probably just five friends and family on there. So on weekends, um, I would generally be very quiet with everybody because I won't be on that phone. But it's it's a re- it's a great way of 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 put your work in chunks. So for me to, to to prevent burnout and to not to be on on social media or on on WhatsApp or these days what they call it Telegram now all the time, um, I need to block out some time and I like from eight to one really to focus on what I need to get done that takes my business forward, whether it's writing fees, doing financial statements, these days not too much. Um, Whatever it is to, to take my business forward, that needs to be happened to, between eight and one, and then I can attend to everything else, phone calls, WhatsApps, and I've got a nice system of, of that, doing that as well with my PA that I can really just go through all the messages and, and sort it out. So I think that's pretty much the, the, mm-hmm. the, the habits that I incorporate for my burnout in that stage. And mm-hmm. then lastly, like you mentioned, generosity, I really start living by my purpose. I found my purpose probably. Uh, well, I realized that probably about a year and a half ago. I really started living it, and um, as Ian Lopatin of Spiritual Gangster say, um, uh, generosity is the secret source, of, secret source of business. So, and I've seen it time, time and again. Whenever I'm very generous, it just I mean it's not a trade-off, but it just 
life does happen. I mean, you can take it from anywhere you want. You can take it from your universe, the Bible, the na- nature, anywhere you want to. It's law of life. Everything you give out, it returns in abundance. Mm-hmm. So it was a very short question. It was a very long answer, but... Uh, <laughs> Love it. Love it. So thank you for, for going deep because that's how we... we that's how as well we, we understand uh, well, who make you who you are today.